our boxers would have been in training over a period of time, as we would all know that the two senior, Ali Kak and Amsterdam, just came back from Uzbekistan, where they had a good showing in the World Championship, where Ghana, that would have been the first time that we would have reached that level, round of 16 in a World Championship. So I must compliment them for that effort, and I do hope that that effort go into the CAC games and we have larger, and we have medals and larger medals. Our team coach is Naeem Hack. He's from Canada and he'll be meeting us at, in El Salvador with my brother Narayan Ramdani. We're, I'm playing women's singles and mixed doubles with Narayan and Narayan's playing men's singles and mixed doubles. And he's been training in Canada with, our, with his coach Naeem and I'm not sure what his schedule is like, but I know he's training most of the days. And my schedule, I'm training five times a week, more than an afternoon. So we're trying our best to prepare. In terms of track and field, this will be one of our largest team that will be going to the CAC Games. Our athletes are being in constant um, communication with the head coach, which is Coach Julian. Um, they've been training. This, this weekend, we will have a We'll have the team training together. So uh, in terms of track and field, we're looking forward to have all our athletes medal. Uh, we know it's going to be a good game, and our athletes are going to be successful. Our two athletes that are going to the games, their first international outing was at the World Championships in, in Colombia last December, and they, fair, they did fairly well. The second outing was in uh, Santo Domingo, and make some significant improvement. We normally train five days a week at the gym in the park, the Olympic Association gym, was run by the Olympic Association. And we are looking forward to doing well here again at these games. And they're putting five days of week training, so these guys are in pretty good shape, so we are hoping to do well. The hockey team had a longer than usual preparation cycle because of um, the players in activity during COVID. So we called together a squad in February of last year. Um, we had a warm-up tour to Barbados in December. Um, and the juniors also participated in the Junior Pan American Championships in um, as well, March. Yeah, so um, in this team, we have five surviving members from the last CSC Games where we lost in the semi-final 1-0 um, to Cuba. Um, so it's uh, quite a new squad. Um, of the four females identified for the national team, we have three local base players and one overseas player, base player. Um, the three local players would have started reverse training over the weekend after a selection tournament um, in May. Um, they are training with our national coach, Mr. Abdullah Hamid, the overseas base player. She has been training continuously. She ha she plays for a team in Spain. Um, of the four players, three are now making, they are now wearing the national flag colors for the first time. So while meddling is the ultimate aim, I just expect the girls to do their best, given that it's their first international exposure. We have two players that are based uh, abroad, Chelsea Agile. Um, she's based in Germany. And we have Shamar Britton. Uh, he just concluded a, a top class training camp in California. With the local players, we have been uh, preparing at National Gymnasium uh, for the past couple of weeks. Uh, once, sometimes twice a day, um, depending on the availability of the, the gymnasium. Um, same as any other games, we're going to go out there, we're going give it, to give it our all, leave it on the floor, and and the chips fall uh, where they may. The swimmers, they're in good spurts. They currently train doubles, which means they train in the mornings and in the evenings because of the complex, complicity, complexity sorry, of what swimming is. We're not built for water, so we have to train more often. But they're in their taper phase right now, whereas their intensity goes up and the mileage goes down so that they can rest even more. They've been working hard with coaches, with their coaches, and they're geared and ready to go to do their best and make us and themselves proud. This is actually exciting uh, to actually be part of the Team Guyana and travel and compete as a team overall. Uh, and, um, it's just a new experience for me and uh, 
I've been training hard um, at my old college. I graduated from Ohio State University, uh, where I was recruited as a Division One athlete. So I've been fortunate enough to train with my team, and um, you know I'm looking forward to put those skills to work.